everyone, it's Pixel8 here and welcome back to another Sims 4 news and info video. I'm a little late on some of this news, I apologize, but we have a lot to talk about in today's video, so let's jump right in. So two days ago, Sim Guru Frost took to Twitter at 4.27 p.m. to tweet important announcement regarding Mac OS Lion 10.7. If you're using Mac OS Lion 10.7, please take a moment to click and read the forum post below. For all other questions, please please reach out to EA Help Thank you. EA David goes into further detail on this blog post. Dear Simmers, we hope you're all doing well. If you are a Mac user, please read the below. If you currently play The Sims 4 on Mac OS Lion 10.7, there will be important changes you need to know about. Starting next month, we will be unable to support Mac OS Lion 10.7. On October 3rd, 2019, we will release a patch update that will no longer support The Sims 4 on that operating system. If you wish to continue playing the game while running that, do not update The Sims 4 with the October 3rd patch or any future game patch. To prevent the update, you will need to disable automatic updates on Origin. This will allow you to continue playing the game. However, you will not receive any future updates for the base game or be able to play any additional packs released after October 3rd. What kind of confuses me about this is I feel like they're kind of putting too much on players and some players don't really know a lot about computers and all of that so some people are to forget this and not change the setting and their game's gonna update and then they're not going to be able to play it because their operating system doesn't support the new version they should just make it so that if the client or the game detects that they have that operating system then no further patch is needed so that they can continue to play the game but that's just my two cents I doubt they will ever make it that easy but I feel bad for people that are running this operating system that won't be able to play their game anymore anymore. So there are some instructions on how to disable automatic updates on Origin for these people. To disable auto updates in Origin 9, go to the Origin drop down menu and select preferences in the general section under updates, uncheck the automatically keep my games up to date option. This will prevent updates from being applied to any Origin game you own. You will start to be notified when updates are available, but you will need to manually choose to download updates. Make sure not to manually download of the Sims 4 updates. And here are some frequently asked questions. Will I have access to the gallery if I don't get any additional updates? And the answer is yes, you will continue to have access to the gallery where you can both upload and download content. Will my progress be saved if I don't get updates? Yes, your existing game saves will be preserved. Will I be able to continue playing with all the packs I own? Yes, all packs that you have purchased and installed will still be installed. Any packs you have purchased and have not yet installed will still be available for download from the Origin client. Which packs will I be able to play? You will be able to play all release packs up to and including Realm of Magic. So I guess that means that any future packs, players on this Mac OS line 10.7 will not be able to play them. I guess that's what it's saying. And that kind of sucks. All right, so moving on to a newer tweet. This was actually tweeted today, probably 20 minutes ago, around 12.23 p.m. Sim Guru Frost takes to Twitter to tweet, Hey Simmers, just wanted to let you all know that there won't be an October Maxis monthly. However, However, we do have a tiny surprise for all our Halloween enthusiasts. Please enjoy these male and female robot costumes coming tomorrow to The Sims 4 base game for free. So no, you don't need The Sims 4 spooky stuff. If you have The Sims 4 base game on PC, you will have an update that is coming tomorrow, giving you some brand new robot costumes. Is this a hint at something? Is this a hint at future content? I don't know, but it could be possible. I didn't think robots would be coming. And honestly, I'm really hoping for university. And if they add university, I hope that they just focus on university and that they don't put robots in them. Cause I know that with The Sims 3 University Life, we got plant sims. And I think with The Sims 2 University, I think we got zombies, am I correct? I don't remember correctly. I could be wrong. So please don't hold me to that. But I just remember Remember that we did get some type of occult or other type of living being in those games. So hopefully this zombie thing is just a standalone thing just this time for this free patch and hopefully sometime in the future we'll get a Sims for futuristic pack, kind of like The Sims 3 Into the Future. But let me know down in the comment section below, are you excited for this upcoming free 
patch. I hope you are and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining and informative. And of course, if you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites playlist right here on YouTube. Click the subscribe button to become a little lemon and ding the bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications on any type of future upload on the channel. You can follow me on social media that includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and more. Links will be down in the description box below. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.